Damon, the ice we saw this morning, dangerous to navigate through, but really pretty to look at on branches and trees, on the grass. If you've got plants around, it was actually quite beautiful this yeah, morning. Yeah, as long as you were cautious out there, yeah. it's something interesting to see. Everything just coated yes. in ice for a while, but it's gone now. We Thankfully. flipped the script. Yeah, we're looking pretty good as we head off toward the weekend. And uh, some of those ice totals from earlier on from this event, it was mostly those highest elevations that saw the highest ice totals and then also areas more north and west got hit hard by this freezing rain. Look at Frostburg there, three tenths of an inch of ice. Thermont, a quarter of an inch. The South Mountain Corridor was one of those locations that were higher up that got the higher ice amounts. But as you dropped south, Colesville, a little over a tenth of an inch. Percival, just six one hundredths and then all the way down to the Dulles International Airport, barely a glaze of ice. So there's that general trend you saw. The more south you went, the less ice there was. And overall, we are completely done. There is not going to be any additional trees covered with ice at this point. All of that has melted and the sun has come out and the temperature has also gone up in most locations. We've had a few locations have trouble with their data of late, but temperatures are struggling back into the 40s and 50s, and it's looking pretty good now with that precipitation well to our east. There's that small corridor of sunshine that will likely become larger as we go into the rest of the afternoon, and this cloud deck starts to break up even more so as the center of that latest st storm system tracks off to the northeast even more. The cold front with this system has passed, and now we're going to see that cooler, drier air enter into the picture as we head into the evening and later on tonight. And again, we carved out a very small area of warmth here. 50s, Winchester, Charlestown, back over to Martinsburg into the middle 40s, which is way more than enough to melt that ice away through central Maryland and the D.C. Metro. But on the other side of the mountains, some of that colder air is already beginning to arrive. And as we get later and later into the day, it's going to funnel in because of these occasionally gusty west to northwest winds. Look at that 30 miles per hour in Martinsburg, 23 in Winchester. That's a sustained wind at the moment. So yes, the blustery winds are set here to continue. And thankfully enough, with all the melting that has already taken place, these winds shouldn't cause as much of an impact. Those trees, power lines won't be as weighted down, but any that still have ice on them could become hazardous with the gusty winds around for a while. But after this, it's looking beautiful, very quiet for your Saturday and Sunday, and really the whole extended forecast at this point is going to be sun filled with no additional rounds of precipitation. So that being the case, the big question, when do those winds calm down, leave us alone? Well, this afternoon, as we approach the three o'clock hour into this evening, they will stay gusty. But by nine o'clock, notice how we're mostly only having gusts up to about 20 miles per hour at that point. And then as we go even later on through the overnight hours into the start of your Saturday morning, those wind speeds will be down all the way to only about five to 10 miles per hour. Nothing really major at that point as high pressure starts to settle in. And again, we will have seasonably cool but beautiful conditions to enjoy both Saturday and Sunday as well when temperatures jump even further up into the 50s. And throughout the extended forecast, we will see some occasional clipper systems to our north that could mess with our temperatures a little bit, including on Monday when we drop back down very briefly into the upper 30s. But otherwise, we're looking at highs in the 40s to near 50, low temps down around the freezing mark. A very beautiful week is ahead of us now that we saw this ice storm pass by. And we are now looking to be in the clear with a very quiet pattern.